and welcome back to Weeby Kids. In today's session, we're going to be using a few easy to find materials in order to make some natural paintbrushes for your next art session. So you are going to need some sticks, you're going to need some elastic bands, you're going to need some scissors to help you collect your natural materials, you can use some twine or string or wool, something you can tie with, and obviously you are going to need some natural materials. Here I have grass and foliage and some spruce tips, but you can be adventurous and see what you have in your natural environment around you that you can use. So to make your natural paintbrushes is actually quite simple. Take your chosen stick and your chosen material. I'm going to go with grass to begin with. So you can see that I've just literally cut a bunch of grass. Then you're going to take an elastic band and wrap that around the tip of your stick like so. Leave a little bit of give so that you can take your grass in small bunches and you can lift the top of the elastic here and slot the grass through. So you have two points. You can also slot it again with the bottom elastic. And you can spread your grass around your stick. And I'm doing this in three sections. You can choose more sections than that if you would like. And my final section, gathering up the last pieces. top and bottom and just lining those up now as you can see that is sufficient you could just go with that or if you're worried that some of these are loose you can also take a short length of string or twine and simply wrap that over your chosen material then Having wrapped that around just to secure them all, you're just going to tie your ends nice and tightly with an overhand knot. And then if you want to, you can also snip away any loose ends. And there you have a natural paintbrush. Now, if you aren't happy with the taper or the length of your brush, the, the shape that it makes, you can also use your scissors to cut it into a shape. I'm actually not too unhappy with what I have here, but you can also snip them into the shape that you would like to have. And there we have our natural paintbrush ready for use on a large surface. Now remember these paintbrushes aren't designed to give you great detail or accuracy. They are going to give you mark making experiences and are wonderful to use on large surfaces, large um, rolls of paper or also on fabric where you can explore the different kinds of mark making outcomes you can have. So as I said here, you can use grass, I've got some spruce tips, which I'm going to turn into brush. I've also got some other plants and leaf and foliage. Remember, the key is to explore, it is to have fun and work out what you have and to use what you have. There's no right and wrong and you are likely to have a range of different outcomes at the end and therefore a range of artistic beautiful mark making outcomes. So in the end we made three pink brushes for our next art session. One with some beautiful grass, one with some leaves and finally one with some spruce tips. So there are lots and lots of different items and greenery out there at the moment. You can use flowers too and these make wonderful natural pink brushes. So look forward to your next art session and seeing what you make. Have some fun with it. Take care! Bye.